welcome to Wine About Real Estate with Team K Squared. We're here tonight with Larry from Aligned Mortgage. I have Joelle, our amazing buyer's rep with Team K Squared, and I have Josh Nisley here to talk about tonight's wine. Josh, tell us about the wine. So for this episode, we're going to have a Chardonnay, and I want to do justice because I think this is going to be a really good one, so I'm going to read the label. It's bottled by George Raphael. It's called a, it's a Poor Rosé from Raphael Phil's Chardonnay 2015. The color looks great. I'm not familiar with this winery, but I think this is going to be a good one. So. All right. Cheers. Well, hi. Mm. Oh, it's good. Butterscotch. I'm getting yeah. some peach and baked apple, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's going to go it's great. A good Thanksgiving wine. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. And it's going to go great with tonight's mixed grill um, from Hawaka Lake Country Club. It's just a beautiful little mix of burgers and chicken and gyoza and some chips. So this wine is going to be awesome with it. So I have a question for Larry. Larry, I have a couple and they're VA buyers. Uh, both of them are in the military. So the lady has a part of her VA entitlement tied up in a property on the mainland and they are considering whether or not they want to purchase out here. How would that work if they both have an entitlement and one is partially tied up? So the beauty of this is they both have their separate entitlements and we call it if you are dual military and you haven't used your VA benefit at least once, you're missing out because you have Willy Wonka's golden ticket. You have two entitlements. And so if one spouse has already used their entitlement, you can use the other spouse's entitlement to buy your home out here. And you'll use both incomes, but it's only on that entitlement. So there's, real, there's that cap, that, that, that county loan limit that, that goes away because you're using the unused entitlement of the other service member. So they can go as high as they can income and credit qualify. And for that other property, um, well, if, they're, if they've rented that property out and they're, they can basically discount the cost of that mortgage at, with the, the rental income they have. Now they can't use it as income unless they've actually had it in their tax returns for two years showing that they've had positive income from it, but at least they can discount that mortgage payment, which which will help them with their their income and credit qualification and how high they can go. But they both have a benefit and that's in, that is just such a great entitlement that a lot of people don't realize. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Thank you for joining us on Wine About Real Estate. We again thank Larry for talking thank with you. us. And if you know anyone looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, please give us a call.